Hello. Welcome to Club de Genevieve. No, I'm joking. I've got a new on sign behind me. I'm very thrilled about it. Today I thought that I would do a makeup tutorial but just something super chill. At the moment, world's a bit crazy. And I actually got a message from a friend of mine, Kate Levy, who is an amazing interiors lifestyle blogger from Glasgow as well. She asked me about eyeshadow. She said, I really want to learn how to do eyeshadow while we're in lockdown. Do you have any tutorials? And showed me this picture. She showed me this picture here, which is of me and Juno. And I thought, yeah, yeah, surely I'll have a tutorial up on something like that. It's basically like my favourite go-to makeup. And I didn't. I really didn't. I looked through, the closest thing I could find was my wedding makeup tutorial. Yeah, it's just not quite the same. So what I thought I would do today is do my favourite makeup look using my favourite products and it's just going to be super chill. I think this makeup look is perfect for so many different reasons but mostly in this current time if I just want to put some makeup on to feel good then this is the look I would do. So I thought I would film a tutorial on a super gorgeous but quite basic go-to look using loads of my favourite products because at the moment I know that a lot of people are feeling the pinch. I'm going to be using products that I've pretty much talked about here on YouTube before so quite a lot of these you might have which is great. So yeah we're just going to chill out and do some makeup together. It's going to be very relaxing. So Kate thank you very much for inspiring this video. This is for you. I hope you like it. I'm going to start with the Bobbi Brown face base. If you have followed me for a little while you'll know that I was obsessed with this for a very long time and I've gone back to using it. I think the smell is so nostalgic. It really does everything you need for a really gorgeous moisturiser before doing your makeup. I still use my primer and my SPF but this just makes my skin look super smooth and hydrated. How's everyone's lockdown doing guys? Is anyone else like me with the nail situation? I also desperately need my hair done. Desperately. So does Jack, but I think we're going to tackle that one together. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> For primer, I'm so obsessed with this primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It smells so good. It reminds me of something from when I was really young and I don't know what it is. I think it's something from Lush. If any of you guys are as um, lush daft as I am, and I, I worked there at two different occasions in my life, it smells like Christmas Eve bubble bar, if you know what that is. Like exactly the same. It's so good. It gives the skin the nicest glow, but it doesn't feel slippy. It's just really hydrating. I so love it. I've been using it to death. You can see that it's starting, starting to go on me. How fun is this background? I feel like I'm in a club look. I've even got my beer. It's coffee. I'm joking. Next I'm going to use La Roche-Posay. This is the Anthelios SBF, but this one has a kind of colour to it. It's really nice, really, really nice. So if I squeeze a little bit on my hand, I usually use about that much. Oh God, can you see it dripping? This will, see for an SPF, it's got a tint to it. It leaves absolutely no cast and it's more on the affordable side of things. This is really nice as well, especially under makeup. The formula is like thin enough, if that makes sense, that it won't affect your makeup. And it's really easy to put on because it's got the tint. Chef's kiss. For foundation, I'm just going to use my all-time fave. I really do think, oh, I just love it. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I, at the moment, am using the shade Barcelona because I'm pale. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, I'm sure you guys can relate. Yeah, I've, I've lost any remnants of a tan, so this will look a wee bit... Well, it's actually really not bad. This foundation is just the best. I recommend it to so many of my friends, and they all love it as well. People that love full full coverage, people that love a wee bit more natural, like a lot, I just know so many people that love this foundation. Another thing that I've been doing during this lockdown is a lot of mindful skincare. Um, I've been really treating myself nicely. I've been doing way more masks than usual. Honestly, it's mostly just the Ulla Henriksen masks I've been using. I've been alternating between the cold plunge pore mask and the fat glow facial. I only use the fat glow facial, here it is right here. I used it last night. I only use it probably once a week just to be safe because it does have your acids in there. That's another reason that I'm using my SPF today. Always use SPF, especially after doing any kind of acid things. And oh my God, I just think it's, it's just great. I'm really actually really happy. There are small things that are good about this lockdown and being able to look after yourself and take Take the time to pamper yourself is one of them. I'm bringing that foundation down my neck. 
I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the shade Ginger. This concealer has been a cult makeup favourite of a lot of people for a really long time. It's so funny, remember when everyone was obsessed with it and everyone wore the shade Custard, kind of no matter what skin tone you wear. Everyone just heard that like Custard was the, the shade and then I found Ginger and I was like, this is actually much better for me. <laughs> Something that I get asked so much now is what foundation brush I use. Uh, I've started doing my little Instagram videos and that is the most asked question. I think because it just smooths everything on so well. I pretty much exclusively use two foundation brushes. This is the Smith 151, which is quite big, you can see, but it just, it gets it on really quickly, which I quite like. And then if I was doing a events makeup or like a makeup, like I was really taking my time, I would use the 115, which is smaller, so you can see. It's almost like half the size. But these two brushes are from Smith. In the UK you can get them in self, which is I'm sure, but I think that they're sold out at the moment. We're gonna go in with the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. This is probably my favorite cream bronzer. And I just draw it straight on my face. You can see it's quite light, which is great because it means that you can't really go too much with it. Go under my wee chin. Deleting the quarantine snacks. Go, oh wait. That actually looks pretty nice. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my foundation brush as well. Even though there's a little bit of excess foundation on the brush, I just think it helps me blend everything. Really nice natural bronze. So let's talk about the actual serious thing that we want to talk about today, and it is what are you watching on Netflix? Me and Jack have been watching Ozark. Um, Ozark's amazing, really good. We've got like two episodes left. Obviously, I got Disney Plus which is amazing as well. I've just been watching The Simpsons back to back. I'm gonna go in with the blush in the same kind of format. This is the Nudies Matte Blush in Sunset Strip. I'm gonna draw on the pad of my hand here. You tap it across and then I like to swap my hands over and it is like, I've said it before, you're God given beauty blenders. These are the beauty blenders that you were given at birth. Yeah, I'm pretty obsessed with this little trick. But look at that, a wee bit of blush. Who doesn't love blush these days? I'm also gonna go on my nose, a wee sunburnt nose. So that's us done, our delicious cream products. Now we're gonna set that with powder products. And this just means that you're gonna have a really nice makeup that has a wee bit more dimension to it because you're layering your products, but also it's gonna last all day. I'm gonna go in with Hula Caramel and another Smith brush. This is the 118 brush. And I'm gonna bronze my face. And I just use really light layers of the bronzer and buff it into the skin. I love bronzer so much. While we're at this stage, I'm gonna get the same brush, same bronzer, and I'm just gonna go down the sides of my nose. And I do this pretty messy, and then I kinda of tidy it up with my foundation brush. And then I'm gonna go in with my blusher. This is one of my favorite blushers of all time. This is Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in the shade Peach. This is a new one. I actually finished, I finished my first one. I have never finished a blush in my life. So I'm gonna go in with the same bronzer brush and I'm just gonna let the brush fall on my cheek. And I like bringing my blush quite high up to my eye over here because I feel like it lifts my cheek up. I love blusher so much. And I'm just gonna use it on my bridge of my nose as well. Like that is a lot of blusher, but I dig it. Uh, this is how I live now. And I just use my wee foundation brush just to smooth it all, make sure. And I always have a kind of mirror close by for a close look, make sure that there's nothing going really horrendously wrong. While my skin is still a bit dewy, I've not done any powder yet, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. This is Becca Champagne Pop. Uh, I love the Becca highlighter so much. Opal was my favourite for a really long time, but I actually think Champagne Pop is equally as lovely. I'm gonna use it on the top of my cheeks. I'm not gonna go too nuts with it. Like that, that's lovely. Really nice. You've got my Cupid's bow, and then I love a little bit above the brow, just for gorgeous glowy skin. Tin Man nose, I need a small brush. So I'm just gonna tin man my nose with a wee bit of highlighter right at the tip. See, with all the blusher that we've used, this, it just looks so great. I'm gonna do a little line just down the center of my nose. Well happy with that. Right, okay. 
Time for powder. Uh, I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Lewis powder. Such an oldie but goodie. And I'm just gonna buff that in. I'm not gonna bake or anything today, but I'm gonna just tap that in everywhere I need it, which is under my eyes mostly and in between my brow and around my mouth. And this is just so good for smoothing out the complexion as well as a bit mattifying. It is great for baking if you like that. Um, if you like that technique, it is probably my favourite powder for baking. Once I've done one layer of powder, just very really fine, I set my face. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is still the summer scent from last year. I love it so much. Soaked my face. Where's my fan? Ha <laughs> Oh my god, I've not done this in ages. That really wakes you up. Once that's mostly dry, I'm gonna go in with a bit more powder in the same areas. I think it just makes it last extra, extra specially long. It really like cements in the makeup. It's all about your layers, guys. Happy with that skin for the moment. Let's zoom you in and do our brows and our eyes. <laughs> So let's do our brows first, shall we? You might notice my brows look slightly different than they used to, and that's because I went in and I tweezed a lot of them away. My brow used to drop, it was longer, and it used to drop down here. I tweezed it away so I can keep my brows nice and high, honestly, because I can't go for my Botox. My brow lift's gonna disappear. So I gave myself a brow lift. And then just as I did that, and I talked about it on an Instagram Live, I saw on Instagram that Jamie Page had done the exact same thing. So Jamie, Jamie and Jamie, same brain, same great ideas. Yeah, it's amazing. I think it's this whole fox eye lift. I did a video a couple of months ago talking about fox eye lift and how to kind of fake it almost. And yeah, this is like a slightly more extreme way that's not just makeup, but it's not surgery. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my cabrow in shade number four, which is a bit darker than I usually do, just because my hair's grown out, so my hair is darker. I'm going to go in at the front of the brow, and then when it comes to the tail of the brow, I'm just keeping everything super high. We'll do the same thing with the arch. I'm not using much product at all, just because this cabrow is pretty dark. It really ties the whole look together. Like, look at that! I f flipping works man, I'm so happy. Obviously, if you want, you can extend it further. I actually think that's fine for me though. I quite like a shorter brow. I don't know the science behind this, but I feel like someone's known about this for a long time and they've just not told us. They've been keeping secrets from us. They've been trying to, you know, we're, we, we can all be Bella Hadid now. To finish off my little brows, I'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This is my favourite brow gel. I love it. I'm just going to use that through the brows. This helps get rid of any excess product. It helps make the brows look super healthy and it just keeps the brow hairs in their place or in the place that you put them all day. Um, another thing you can do once you've applied your brow gel is you can actually pat down your brows and it gives even more of a kind of fluffy effect. It's almost like brow lamination but it takes two seconds and you can wash it off. Like you just pat it down. You see? It's pretty good. Time for our peepers. Okay for the base we're going to use MAC Lay and Low. I am fully back on this hype and I'm just going to use a kind of semi fluffy brush just to apply a nice thin layer over my little lid. That's just totally blanked out my lids ready for some eyeshadow magic. I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of the translucent powder we use just to take away any super stickiness. And then the palette I'm going to use, I'm really sad because the palette I was going to use, I cannot find for the life of me and I'm worried that I left it somewhere. I'll pop a wee picture here. It is the LC Cosmetics Minimalist Palette. I so love it, but I can't find it. So I really recommend that Neutrals palette. And then another Neutrals palette that I really love is just a wee baby palette. This is the Natasha Denona Camo palette. And it has got five gorgeous shades that are so wearable for every day. And that is what we're going to use today. So I'm gonna get my Smith 232 brush, which is probably my favorite brush of all time. It's just the fluffiest, best eyeshadow brush for really buffing out. I'm gonna go in with this end shade here and we're gonna start to buff that in so our base isn't too sticky. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in depth just, just for Kate if she's watching. The base isn't too sticky and 
I like to keep my eye open and looking down into my mirror. Okay, so I've got my mirror in front of me, I'm looking down, I'm keeping my eye open and this way my eye shadow stays nice and high. We're all about the lift these days, guys. So I keep my eye open and I, I actually pretty much never close my eyes unless I'm packing something on my lid. That's a wee tip for you. And then when I get to the end of the eye, I'm gonna, oh, see that? Oh, I love it. I'm gonna lift it up and out. And if I look in the camera, you can see that this eye looks super open, awake. Same thing on the other eye, keeping my eye open. And then something that I quite like to do is when it comes to the inner corner and the brow, I kind of just join it all together. I feel like it gives me more of a kind of brow lift and I'm super gentle with my brush. That's one thing that I used to get told all the time when I did other people's makeup is everyone was really surprised at how how light my touch was considering I'm such a big clumsy bitch. So I'm going in with tiny amounts of eyeshadow and building it up in nice, soft, light layers. Now I'm going to go in with the same shade and I'm actually going to go on the outer corner just to get a bit of a smoky eye rather than just a contoured eye we want a wee bit of a smoky eye so I'm bringing that on to the lid in the outer corner do that again here so you can see I'm using the same brush I'm just tapping it on really light layers as well it will take you longer but it's so much easier to add makeup than take it away I'm just buffing it in also spending all this time and buffing in your shadow in small increments and taking your time doing it just means that your makeup's gonna last even longer because you're building up all these layers. Okay, so we've got a really nice eye contour slash smoky eye on the go. I'm gonna swap over to my Smith 247, which is more dense, more tightly packed and it's smaller. And I'm gonna go in with the dark shade. So see this one right here? I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna just start building up gently on the inner corner and get a little bit more definition. And one of the reasons I really love this palette is it's not super warm, but it's not super cool either. This would actually be a really nice bridal makeup. Cool, and once you've got that color on, I'm gonna go in with my big brush and a mix of the two colors that we've used. And I'm just gonna really blow that out. I'm gonna mix those two colors together again and I'm gonna buff it under my eye. And I'm just using a pretty big brush again and that just, drags down the shadow but I love a I love a smoky under eye. If you don't want it to be quite as smoky as this you can use a smaller brush to apply and you can use more of the kind of lighter shadow. And that is literally it for shadow. It is so basic but it's really lovely and I'm keeping it matte on the lid because I just think it's timeless. It's so classy and it's really long lasting as well. It's something that you can choose to do or not to do is liner. Um, I love a bit of liner just to elongate my eye. So I'm gonna use my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner. This is what I've been using nonstop and I really, really like it. And I'm gonna do some nice small flicks, mostly on the outer corner of my eye. So let's start. So you can see that halfway down my eye, this part is totally free of product and then all the kind of bringing out of the eye is right here. It just totally changes the shape of my eye. I live for it. Okay, I'm gonna add some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Lash, Bambi Eye False Lash, I should say. I think it's such a good mascara. One thing I would say that's pretty different from the photo that I showed you is the wings, but wings are for me, like this is this is what I do every single day now. I love a wing. So see if you just want to stick with the eyeshadow, you can do the eyeshadow and just put loads of mascara on it. It'll look really, really lovely. It will make your eyes kind of look more rounded. And at the moment, I'm on a, I'm on a wing hype. I flipping love big wings. For lashes, I'm gonna use Tati Lashes TL9. Um, I love these because they're not too big, but for every day, they're perfect. They're so great for every day. And you can still add them to a pretty glam makeup and it'll just finish it off. So I'm gonna cut these in half. So I always count from the end. So I'll go one, two, three, four, and I'll cut off her. No, actually, I'm not gonna do four, I'm gonna do three. And I cut off three little bunches of lash. And then that means that I get it the same on both sides every time. Right, let's try and get this one on as swiftly. You ready? One, one swoop, okay. Give it a little tap in, boom, it's on. Let's zoom you out and do our lips. 
great. For lips, I have something quite exciting. And it's a sneaky giveaway because I'm not going to tell anyone else. It's only for you guys that have made it this far. So for lips, I'm going to use a Victoria Beckham lip liner. This is the Lip Definer 04, so shade number 4. And I'm just going to define my lips. I'm going to overdraw them a little bit, I feel like that today. So I'm going to go right over the top. I really like this colour. It just adds to the look, doesn't it? A little sassy, overdrawn lip. Draw it onto my lip a little bit. And then for lipstick, I was trying to think of my, my favourite nude. And at the moment, it's my MAC lipstick that I made two years ago almost. I just love it so much. So I really just want, oh, I'm not finished, I'm not finished, wait there. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of my highlight on my inner corner of my eye. Again, this just makes the eyes look super big. Yes, I was, I was trying to think of a way that I can wear my lipstick in this video and make it fair for you guys. So, I'm really excited. I have here five unopened, they're brand new. Uh, MAC Jamie Genevieve lipsticks and I'd like to give them to you guys. So I'm trying to think of how to do this. So this is a bit of a secret giveaway. I'm not going to post about it on my Instagram or my Twitter or anything and it's just going to be for, for you guys that have lasted this long in the tutorial. I'm sure it's going to be quite long. So if you've lasted this long and you would like to enter my little competition then all I ask of you is to leave me a comment on this video and let me know what you are most looking forward to after the world hopefully goes back to normal. So for me, for example, I obviously I cannot wait to see my family. I really can't wait to see my family, but I can't wait to go for dinner. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go for dinner. I can't wait to get my nails done. I can't wait to get my hair done. So that's my shallow choices after lockdown's done. Obviously as well, I cannot wait to go to Bali. We were meant to be on our honeymoon right now. Uh, we're not obviously but we were also if we had gone on honeymoon we would be coming home tomorrow so silver lining we still have it all to look forward to whereas in another in another life it would already be done make sure that you leave me either your instagram handle or your twitter handle or your email so i can get in touch with you if you win and yeah i'll pick the winners um next week i'll pick the winners i'll come back and I'll read all the comments, okay? So I hope you really like this makeup tutorial. I really love playing with my makeup right now. I'm so grateful that I've got such a fun variation of makeup to play with during these times. As always, I'll link everything that I use down below. I hope you guys are safe and well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Once that's more, I can't actually speak English today. Another thing that I am going to use is this is, bleh. God, now I've got really sticky hands. I'm wiping it on my jeans. My colour is really all right, isn't it? It's not bad. It's not bad. The NARS natural, not right. So I'm going to go. <laughs> Quite a shit tattoo to be fair. I got it in New York. Look how I actually get it is shit. There's a hair in my face. I can see it with the corner of my eye. I can pronounce it, but no one could understand me. So I would say laying low really quickly and people would think I was just going blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm not going to go too nuts with it. I'll probably just lie to you. Wow, those brow hairs need trimmed. Oh my god, my jeans are digging in and my tummy. I'm wearing jeans today. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. This is the first time I'm filming a makeup tutorial with this setup and I'm thrilled. She's gorgeous. She's got a really high paying job. She has a perfect work-life balance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing the plot.